Uh, hi, I am Hussein. I will be talking about uh, quadratic uh, secret sharing and quadratic conditional disclosure of secrets. Uh, this is a joint work with Amos uh, Bimel and uh, Nati Peter. So I will start by a general description, uh, description of our uh, results. The notation that I will use in this slide will be familiar, uh, clear in a few slides. So we study polynomial secret sharing, which is which generalizes the well-studied linear secret sharing. The motivation in studying polynomial secret sharing first, we want to construct a new efficient secret sharing schemes for access structures, and second, we want to prove lower bounds for a larger class of schemes. So in terms of results, we, we construct a quadratic a secret sharing schemes that are better than the best known linear uh, secret sharing schemes. And uh, we construct a quadratic con co conditional disclosure of secrets and protocols that are better than the linear protocols. And uh, we prove lower bounds for polynomial uh, secret sharing. So in this talk, I will start by an introduction of uh, secret sharing and the previous results in secret sharing. I will then uh, introduce uh, polynomial uh, secret sharing, define it, and uh, describe the motivation by studying polynomial secret sharing. Then I will uh, present our results in polynomial uh, secret sharing. And then I will uh, describe a building uh, block that we use in our uh, construction, which is polynomial conditional disclosure of secrets. Then I will summarize and discuss open questions left uh, by our work. Uh, so secret sharing schemes were uh, defined uh, independently by Shamir and Blackley in 79 for the threshold case and by Eto Seto Nishizeski in 87 for the uh, general case. So in secret sharing, there is a dealer who holds a secret S and there is a set of N parties. The, the dealer applies a function on the secret S and some random string R generates N shares and gives each party a share. We say we, we define an access structure gamma as a collection of uh, authorized sets of parties. And we say that a secret sharing scheme realizes gamma if the two following conditions hold. First, for correctness, we require that any set that is in gamma should learn the secret. And for security, we require that any set that is not in gamma and it's called an authorized set should learn nothing about that secret. So in this talk, the secret is only one bit, which is a zero or a one. Now we start by a warm up, which is a secret sharing scheme realizing the in out of an access structure. So in this access structure, the, the, there is only one authorized set, which is the set of all the parties. And every other set is an authorized set. So the, the construction is as follows. The secret, uh, well, the secret is that the dealer it chooses n minus one random bits, r1 to rn minus one, computes rn as the exclusive or of s and all the other uh, bits, and now gives bar tpi the share, uh, the bit ri. So for correctness, if all the parties participate, then they can uh, learn, learn the secret by exhorting all the, the, the shares. And if uh, one uh, party missing, then there will be a random bit missing and we can uh, prove that they, ha they, ha they have actually uh, independent random uh, bits. Okay. The share size in this scheme is only a one a bit. Okay, so now we move to present our, our scheme for arbitrary access structures. The secret is that we look at an access structure gamma that has a minimal authorized set. So for every minimal authorized set A of size L, we independently execute L out the scheme, an L out of L secret sharing scheme among the parties in A. So for example, for the following access structure, there is two minimal authorized sets, P1, P2, P1, P3. The third the authorized set is not minimal. So we execute a two, of, a two out of two scheme among the parties P1, P2, and independently execute a two out of two scheme among the parties P1 and P3. 
So since each party can be uh, in at uh, in up to two to the n uh, minimal authorized set uh, sets, then the number the shares can size can be as large as the two to the n. This is what the best share size the share size known for realizing arbitrary access structures until a few years ago. So recently, after th more than 30 years of research, we have a bit better upper bound for realizing arbitrary access structures. So we have an upper bound uh, of uh, two to the 0.585n. This uh, achieved by a sequence of uh, works started from 2017, and the last result was achieved in a paper that is presented in uh, this conference. When we look at lower bounds, we know that the best uh, known lower bound is due uh, since uh, 97 is uh, omega n square over L log n. So we can see that there is a huge gap between the best upper bound and the best uh, lower bound we know. At, and it's a central open equation in secret sharing to reduce this uh, gap. Okay, this is what's a general a secret sharing. Now we will move to talk about linear a secret sharing, which is a class of schemes. So this is an important uh, class of schemes due to reasons. First, the many of the non-secret uh, non sharing schemes are linear. And second, it has uh, useful uh, properties such as homomorphism, which is uh, critical for many some applications such as uh, multi-party computation. So the linear secret sharing is constructed in a finite field F. The secret is one element in this in the field, and the randomness is the L, uh, is the not a finite number of field elements we denoted by L, which are uh, chosen by with uniform distribution. So for example, here we, the data chooses R1 and R2 with uniform distribution in F3. Uh, okay, so we say we define linear sharing. We say that the sharing is linear if the share SI is a vector uh, in uh, the field F, the vector of CI elements. And each element in this vector is a fixed combination of the secret and the random bits. So, for example, here P1 is given only one element, which is R1 plus 2R2 plus S. And P2 is given uh, two random elements, uh, R1 and R2. Uh, the line, uh, we said that the line reconstruction is linear if each of the right sets reconstruct the secret using a linear function. For example, P1 and P2, an authorized set computes the secret by S11 minus S21 minus 2S22. This is a linear combination. We know that linear sharing is equivalent to linear reconstruction. This is by a result by, by previous words. Okay, so now we talk about previous result in, results in linear secret sharing. So first, the scheme that we presented in the beginning of this talk is linear and has share size to do the end. Recently, after 30 year, more than 30 years of work, we have better upper bounds. The best upper bound uh, known, to, known today is two to the 0 0.7575n, uh, which is achieved in a paper in this conference. And the best lower bound is uh, two to the n over two. For explicit access structures, we know a lower bound, which is two to the omega n. So we can see that the gap between the best upper bound and best lower bound in linear secret sharing is much smaller than the gap in a general a secret sharing. And this uh, motivates us to study a new uh, classes of uh, a secret uh, sharing. Therefore, we study a polynomial a secret sharing. 
So polynomial uh, secret sharing, uh, we next present motivation, a definition we presented in next slide. So polynomial secret sharing is a broader a class of secret sharing schemes than linear schemes. Uh, in a previous work, uh, previous work defined secret sharing with the uh, polynomial uh, sharing. And in our, uh, our conceptual contribution is the discussion of two additional uh, polynomial secret sharing uh, classes. Uh, so we introduce and discuss uh, schemes with a polynomial uh, reconstruction and the schemes with both polynomial sharing and uh, reconstruction. So the motivation in studying polynomial secret sharing, first, improve lower bounds for a broader a class of schemes, and second, explore uh, new techniques uh, for constructing efficient secret sharing schemes uh, for some or all access structures, exploiting the uh, nice algebraic uh, structure of, uh, of polynomials. So next we define a polynomial a secret sharing. It's a polynomial secret sharing is constructed in a finite field F. The secret uh, is uh, an uh, element in, in S, which is a subset of the field. For example, uh, S here, we construct a scheme where S is all the field, F3. The randomness is a, a, a finite number of field elements donated by L. Uh, that are chosen with uniform distribution. So here the dealer chooses two random elements, R1 and R2, with uniform distribution. We, def we say that the sharing is degree D sharing if uh, the, share is, uh, uh, the share of each party is a vector uh, of uh, CI elements in F. And each element in the, in the share is computed by degree D polynomial of the secret and the random bits. So here, uh, P1 is giving to one element, which is R1 plus R1, R2 square plus S. This is a degree three polynomial. P2 is given two elements, R1 and R2. This is uh, linear. Okay, so degree D, we say that the reconstruction is degree D. If each authorized set reconstructs the secret with a degree D polynomial. So for example, P1 and P2 computes S11 minus S21 minus S21 is to two square in order to learn the secret. This is a degree three a polynomial. So we said that the secret sharing is degree D secret sharing if it has degree D sharing and degree D reconstruction. Okay, this is, was polynomial uh, secret sharing. Now we will talk about, uh, present our uh, results in polynomial uh, secret sharing. So in our first result, we separate between she polynomial sharing and uh, polynomial uh, reconstruction. So uh, we prove that polynomial sharing does not imply a polynomial reconstruction. This is improved under uh, some uh, complex, complexity assumption. So in order to prove this, we show an efficient secret sharing schemes that has a polynomial sharing for an access structure that uh, under this assumption does not have a secret sharing with a polynomial uh, reconstruction. We prove in our second result lower bounds. So we prove a lower bound of uh, omega two to the n over d plus one for secret sharing with degree d reconstruction. And we prove a lower bound of t to the omega n over d for secret sharing schemes with degree d reconstruction for an, ex an explicit uh, access uh, structure. So now we present our main result, which is upper bounds for quadratic secret sharing. So first quadratic secret sharing is secret sharing with degree D share, two sharing, degree two, two sharing and a reconstruction. So in our main result, we construct a quadratic secret sharing scheme for arbitrary access structure that has shared size 
to the 0.705N. So this is uh, worse than, uh, better than the best linear scheme, which requires shear size to the 0.75N. However, it's worse than the best nonlinear scheme, which requires shear size to the 0.585N. We also separate uh, secret, uh, quadratic secret sharing for, uh, and linear uh, secret sharing. So we construct a quadratic secret sharing for almost axis structures with share size to two to the n over three. And by a lower bound uh, that we know in linear secret sharing, which is uh, two to the n uh, over two for realizing, uh, realizing almost all axis structures, we get the uh, required separation. Okay, so this is was uh, this was our results. Now we will move to talk about uh, our constructions. So uh, as building a block in our constructions, uh, we use a polynomial conditional uh, disclosure of secrets. So conditional disclosure of secret, there is a function f, a Boolean function, which with k inputs, each input is in domain n. There are k servers. Q1 to QK, and each server has a, a, a private input, has holds a secret S and holds a common randomness R. There is a referee. The referee knows all the inputs, X1 to XK. And now each server sends one message to the referee, such that uh, when sending the, the, each message of each server depends on his in private input on the secret S and on the common, common randomness R. The server does not see the inputs of the other servers and uh, does not see the messages that uh, the other servers send to the uh, referee. So the correctness, if the value of the if, if, if a function f is one, then the referee should learn the secret. And if the value is zero, the referee should learn nothing about the secret. Okay, so now we present a bar bound for a bar bounds for CDS protocols. So for a function f with k inputs, each input in, in domain n. We, we have a, a linear case server CDS uh, for f, every function f with message size n to the k minus one over two. This is a tight upper bound by a lower bound proof in uh, previous work. We also know uh, there, that there is a nonlinear CDS protocol with k servers for every function f with message size two to the squared log k log n. And we know that there is a quadratic CDS protocol with two servers for every function f with message size n to the one over a three. So in our paper, we construct a quadratic CDS protocol with k servers for every k, for every function f with message size n to the k minus one over a three. This is a tight upper bound by a lower bound that uh, we, we prove. Okay, this was the results in the CDS protocol. Now we, we, we move to uh, de de describe uh, the, uh, our, the ideas of our uh, construction of CDS. So first we present the roadmap of our uh, main result that we use uh, the CDS in it. So we start with, by quadratic to server CDS from a previous work. We transform this uh, protocol to quadratic case server CDS. We will present the ideas of this transformation in the next slide. Then uh, we transform the quadratic case server CDS to quadratic case server robust CDS. Okay, robust CDS is uh, a new primitive that was defined in previous work. Then from using uh, transformations in uh, previous words, of converting a, CD, a robust CDS to arbitrary secret sharing for arbitrary access structures, we get our quadratic uh, secret uh, sharing. Okay. Now we will talk about uh, our constructions for a, a quadratic CDS. We start by quadratic for 
server CDS and they present the ideas in this uh, protocol. So we want to construct a protocol for a function f with four inputs, each input in domain n. So in our protocol simulates the quadratic two server CDS of a previous world for a function f in which the first input is in domain n and the second input is in domain n to the three. So there are two servers, q1 and q2. q1 has input x in n, y, q2 has input y in n in, in to the three, such so that each core and uh, we look at the natural mapping of y to, two, to three coordinates, y1, y2, y3, each coordinate is in n. There is common randomness S1, S2, S3, which are subsets of N. And uh, now that's Q1 sends a message of size order N. We will not describe the message as it's not relevant to our uh, ideas. Now Q2 sends three subsets, A1, A2, and A3, such that if the secret is zero, then AH equals SH. And if the secret is one, then AH equals SH XOR YH. That means that if the if YH is in SH, then we remove it. And if it's not, then we add it. Okay. So we have now two additional servers, Q3 and Q4. The input of Q2 is divided among, uh, the input Y is divided among Q2, Q3, and Q4. And now uh, server Q2 cannot send a, a to the sets A2 and A3 since uh, they depend on uh, the inputs of Q3 and Q4. But he can send A1 as it depends on only in his input. So he can send, he sends A1, Q2, to similar Q3 sends A2 and the Q4 sends A3. So the message in this uh, protocol is order N. Now we present a uh, quadratic seven server CDSC protocol that simulates the previous uh, protocol. So now we want to construct a protocol for function F with seven inputs. Each input is in domain N. Now we look, we want, we simulate the quadratic for server CDS where, where the input of the first server is in N and the input of the other three servers is in square. So we treat X2 and X3 as Y1 and X4 and X5 as Y2, X6 and X7 as Y3. And now we are back to the situation of for, for server CDS. So Q1, the server Q1 sends the message of the first server in the first server CDS, which requires share si message size in the square. And the other servers should send the messages of the other three servers in the first ser server CDS. So in order to do this, Q2 and Q3 execute a PCM protocol for sending S1 if the secret is zero and S1 XOR Y1 if the secret is uh, uh, one. So this means that uh, Q2 sends one message, Q3 sends one message, and the referee should uh, learn uh, S1 or S1 XOR Y1 without learning anything about the secret. And our technical contribution is to show how to Q2 and Q3 send the messages. Similarly, Q4 and Q5 execute PCM for sending S2, and Q6 and Q7 execute PCM protocol for S3. So the PCM should be quadratic, and we show how to construct this PCM. So this is the protocol can be generalized for every AK uh, using uh, the uh, PSM. This, so, our, this, so we have a protocol for every AK. Okay, this was the ideas of our uh, constructions. Uh, and now we summarize and present open uh, problems. So we studied polynomial secret sharing, which is a broader class of secret sharing schemes than the well studied linear class. We proved lower bounds 
for secret sharing with bulunomia, bulunomia reconstruction. We proved a new upper bound of for quadratic secret sharing and the quadratic CDS. These upper bounds are better than the best known linear upper bounds. We separated between linear and the quadratic secret sharing for almost all access structures. Now we discuss open problems. So the first question is to prove lower bounds on the shared size of secret sharing schemes with degree D sharing. In our uh, work, we proved lower bounds for uh, secret sharing schemes with degree D reconstruction. And it's interesting to extend the lower bounds to degree D sharing. So we constructed, constructed, constructed the quadratic secret sharing schemes and it's interesting to construct a new degree D secret sharing schemes that are better than the quadratic secret sharing schemes that we constructed. And perhaps the most uh, interesting question is to construct efficient degree D secret sharing schemes. Efficient could be uh, schemes with polynomial shares. Uh, so construct efficient degree T secret sharing schemes for a larger class of access structures. Uh, then the, access, the class of access structures that we know that have efficient uh, linear uh, secret uh, sharing schemes. Okay, uh, that's it. Thank you for uh, your attention.